Hello everyone, this is Enormous with Tech Defense, and today for Tech Tip episode 20, we're going to talk about a new tool we just created called Kippo to Word List. Alright, so um, today we're going to do a quick episode on a new tool I just created to help you make a word list from your Kippo logs, but before getting into that, just wanted to uh, make you guys aware that on uh, February 3rd, 2013, um, or I'm sorry, February 2nd, I'll be teaching an introduction to malware analysis course uh, for a women's IT group called uh, Cyber Jutsu, Women Cyber Jutsu. So if you happen to be one of the uh, four or five women that watch this uh, <laughs> series and you'd like to learn more about malware analysis, I'll be going over that on February 2nd. There are local for the people in the DC, uh, Virginia area. But um, also there'll be a remote option, so if you want to do this remotely, you can. Uh, the price is very cheap. I don't even remember what it is. Um, let's see. So this is uh, the group I'm doing it for. And these are the topics we'll be covering. And yeah, so on-site, 20 bucks, remote, $5. So if you're a lady and want to learn more about this stuff, uh, you know, by all means, head over to this, which I'll include a link in our uh, description of the YouTube video, as well as at uh, techdefense.com. So, uh, yeah, do that. Come and join me. But today I want to talk about uh, a new tool I wrote literally uh, probably about a half an hour ago. Spent a couple hours on it today. Um, not too much uh, involved in this code, but just taking our logs from Kippo and turning them into a word list. So, uh, excuse me, to give you a little update, I've been uh, I've had Kippo running quite some uh, quite some time now, probably let's see from the twenty seventh to the thirteenth, and I haven't had it on that entire time, but pretty much all of it. So as you can see, I'm getting a pretty decent amount of logout attempts. So we're up to three thousand twenty one from forty eight unique sources, um, which is not bad considering I'm running this on my uh, home DMZ first, you know, out in Amazon's cloud or, or whatever. But um, you know, if you look through and you see, we're now starting to get a good amount of data. We're starting to get a lot of passwords being inputted, uh, and I'm all about growing my word list. That's why I, I do a lot of the uh, uh, password cracking and stuff that I do. Um, is to just you now build up those word lists so we can even get uh, you know better results when we're doing that password cracking. So um, I've got a, a lot of hits. If we go and look at Let's see. If we look at my Kippo logs right now, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah. All right. So if we uh, look at my Kippo logs right now, you can see they've rolled over quite a few times because I'm getting so many hits. And, uh, to see the log on attempts, let me just show you uh, what we would do. Kippo log one. So let's do uh, Kippo dot log dot one, and within there, let's grep for uh, login attempt, and this will pull out from everything else that's in that log. It's going to pull out you know, just the logon attempts. So you can see info, info, support. These are username and passwords that were used. So there's a lot of uh, really good ones in here, and a lot of them I didn't have on my word list previously. So I wanted to make an automated way to add these to my word list. So what I did was created a program called Kippo to Word List. So you, so you can get it over here on GitHub, and I'll, I'll put this up on the Tech Defense website as well so you can get to this easily. Um, but as you can see, it's not a whole lot of code to this one. Basically, I am uh, just opening up the directory where the Kippo logs are. So let's go back to go into this directory where the Kippo logs are, and I'm looking for any log files that start with Kippo.log. So it's going to do Kippo.log, and then dot one, and then dot two, dot three, and dot four. It's going to open up each of those, and it's going to uh, using regex, search for uh, those username and password combinations. 
and then it's going to uh, create a list of those and add them uh, or take a create a list of the username and passwords and just pull the passwords out from that uh, using a, a group command and uh, then I remove all the duplicates from that list because obviously we don't want to see one two three four five six hit that word list twelve times so I'm using the set command to do that and then I'm outputting that to a file um, so if, if you aren't running honey drive and you and you've done this uh, and you have Kippo running all on your own and you want to use this script these are all the variables that define um, the naming prefix for Kippo, right? So if yours isn't Kippo log dot log dot one, instead it's uh, my Kippo log or dot log dot one, you can change that prefix here so that it uses that. And additionally, if you don't log the default path, you can just change that path here. And uh, if you want to output to a different directory, here's where you can choose where you output to and what you name that file. So these uh, three variables here can be modified to fit your need. So to give you a quick demo of the tool, it's, it's really uh, not too much going on here, but what I did is just um, have Kippo to word list uh, added to my Honey Drive instance. And when I run Python, Kippo to word list, it's just going to run it does everything in the background and then tells you where it's all archived to. So now if we go to kippo log word list, so let's see, cd slash opt kippo log and let's uh, just cat word list. You can see now we have a word list that we can easily um, you know, put into Hydra or whatever tool we're using uh, uh, to crack passwords, whatever we want to do. And some really weird ones in here, as you can see. So it's uh, it's, it's funny, there's uh, uh, quite a few that you wouldn't imagine would be uh, passwords that they would try if they're only trying 100 or 200 passwords, but very strange. But anyways, uh, this is a quick episode. I just wanted to show you this new tool. Um, if you have any questions for me, hit me up at enormous at techdefense.com. Like such. Uh, for everything else, just go to techdefense.com and you'll see the links uh, to everything that you want to see. Thanks.